landed the right hand there. Fuck on the ground, nigga. Let's fight. He's 18 and 12. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck them niggas. I'm ready to fight. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it Striker in the fast moment hands, one six out of eight plus. Okay. He starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find okay. the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Fake ass Conor McGregor ass. Swear, yo. I'm out for this dub. They got me fucked up. They talking all shit. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has it's every early. one of those skills. And it's early. All at an A plus level. Early in the career. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few oh, yeah. will just litter the UFC New me. roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special. Mm -hmm. He does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages. Shake it off, bro. Don't be nervous. Hard tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. With similar height six, and six. some differences in reach. And now right. for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Let's go. Let's Ladies go. Gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Ain't right. no more talking, bro. We just that fighting. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 253 pounds. Uh huh. The assassin. Right. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Mm -hmm. with a professional record of one win, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, pistol. Whipping. Let's go. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? All right. All right, round one underway. He is back seemingly better than ever. He dropped his last fight by decision. It was a fight that certainly could have gone either way. It did not go his way. But all here during fight week, he has said that is a thing of the past. My focus is the present. I can certainly put that decision loss behind me by getting a win and ideally a finish here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as mm -hmm. he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, come on. Head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, come on. Big Come on, bro. Lands. Now he gets back to range. Circling to his right. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with uh -huh. those leg kicks. Head kick, that's a miss. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And both guys really throwing okay. with authority. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a fist back and forth. He's landing that beautiful. All right, he's waiting for me. He's he's a counter puncher. I got him. Ooh, what a punch! 
punch. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Big body kick land. Come on. Just over two minutes, round one. Keep moving. Big kick lands. All right, so he continues Come on. to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blast to the jab. After jab, after jab, he's a I can't kick like that. My legs still hurt. With a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Beautiful leg kick throw. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Just a slip there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stick and move. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Big punch land over the top. Uh -huh. How's he gonna follow this? One? Shit. All right, play it smart. I got one leg out here. Round two next. All right. now from that previous round and he really kept finding a home for those kicks yeah and why would you change it if your opponent is not going to check if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary you keep driving those kicks into his thighs into his body until he makes some sort of adjustment my dc second round is getting underway round one not the round of the year necessarily but some good in there and it's nah, not bro. always gonna you good. be when you have two very talented fighters sometimes it's very easy that's what we saw in round number one All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Got him on the run. Cut the angle. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Just over three minutes to go. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Into these big leg Fuck. kicks. Great punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Uh huh. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight right, he misses. Blocks that strike. Try to establish that jab. Relax. Straight punch land. Push it. And lands the left there. Trying to double up on that jab. 
20 seconds to go round two. He's moving. 10 seconds to go in the round. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. All right. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty Let's go. Over the previous ten minutes, your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home. As we approach the end of the fight, it's evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Fuck on the ground, nigga. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Let's go. Get the fuck on the ground, nigga. Let's go. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight. Fuck you mean? Probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end. Let's fucking go. Absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for Shit. him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's rewrite let's go. Now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick over and over. He was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too with his hands. But ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch. That finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, six seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout this time. Oh, there he is. Let's go. A huge knockout win tonight. You go to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now. John, I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra point. That's how you fucking come back. To the club tonight. Let's go. That's how the fuck you come back. Shit. Call me weak, nigga. When my next fight by knockout, bruh. We'll be back, though. Like, share, and subscribe.